Hi guys, I'm just back from Sainsbury's and I bought a few bits. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. I shop a lot, I do unboxings, uh, I do various bits and pieces through the house and generally I just meet up with my friends and have a chat. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So I went to Sainsbury's to take back a couple of things that I hadn't liked in the last haul and also to get a few things for the kids because of course we've had this glorious sunny weather and I thought great let's get some lighter weight things but today it keeps trying to snow it's sunny and then it snows so I think I might have made a mistake but anyway this is what I bought now the first thing actually isn't something to wear I bought this for in the um, I'm still going to call it the nursery until I come up woodland room should we call it uh, I haven't started decorating it yet. I'm, I, this is what I do. I gather all the bits together so I can make it right. And I saw this and loved it. It's a uh, board. I can't remember how much it was. £15. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was. It was £15, but I like it. Can you see? It's got a wood frame. Whoops. And it's grey. And then it's got all the letters. I can put this on the wall and personalise the room to whoever's staying. Most of the time it's just going to have the three grandchildren's names on it. But you know, it can say anything I wanted to say. Welcome, so glad you're here, love you, whatever. And I just think that that will really work. I loved it the minute I saw it. And Sainsbury's have really started to bring in their summer clothes. So. Now you remember the navy spotted shorts that I decided I didn't like? Well, I did take them back. It was one of the things that went back. And they had this pair, which are very similar in cut, in cut. But the fabric is slightly heavier, still has the pockets. I love this sort of, um, almost a gingham. It's a big gingham though. Do they call it buffalo gingham when it's really big? It's got little, they've got turn ups, uh, a little belt, and the back is elasticated. So I thought, again, it's worth a try. Still hunting for shorts. Another pair of shorts that they had, which again, couldn't resist, had to try, were these. Oh, I didn't tell you how much those ones were, did I? These were 16 pounds. These ones, again, as I say, shorts, if I can ever get myself organized, were also 16 pounds. They've got kind of an animal print going on. I can visualize these with black flip-flops, black t-shirt, um, they're a linen, I would say it's a linen. Again, it has pockets and it is elasticated mostly in the back, but can you see it is also slightly, slightly in the front. So surely to goodness, they must be the most comfy shorts ever. Sundresses. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know the sun's shining. So funnily enough, looking out the window, particularly being in the conservatory just lately, with the sun the way it is, you'd swear it was the summer, and I'm beginning to think that way. So I saw this little sundress. Now, they do this in two different patterns, but this is the one that I chose. I thought that was really, really pretty. You see the print on there? It's not one for going out in... Well, it's one that I would wear a shirt over or something, because I am very self-conscious of my arms, and it only has spaghetti straps. Um, they are adjustable it has buttons down the front which unfortunately are working buttons so i may come unstuck there elasticated waist and just a simple simple cotton skirt with a little bit of a split you'll see it better when i try it on but i couldn't resist trying it oh and that was hold up hold up hold up 20 pounds and the last thing that I bought in there, which is what really, because I, I took the things back, I was not going to look at any more. And then I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I just, ha oh, I had to. So this is another dress. You know my love affair with dresses. This one was 25, which is quite a bit for Sainsbury's, but how pretty is that? It's got the square neckline. It is one that you could take off the shoulder if you're comfortable doing that. Puff sleeve. It's got a flat front, but a smocked back. Flat front, plain front, you know, smooth front. Um, and then it goes down and it has a tiered skirt. And just look at the print on that. Doesn't it scream summer? 
I just had to get it to try. So that's the things I bought at Sainsbury's. So only four things, two pairs of shorts and two dresses. And of course the, what do they call it? It's not a pin board. Do they say, oh, letter notice board. But I thought to beef this up, you remember the two jumpsuits I bought in, uh, play suits that I bought in Poundland? There was the red one and the stripy one. Oop, wrong way around. <laughs> Oh, we're red. I thought I'd try these on for you because I didn't. I haven't tried them on myself yet. And they were five pounds and six pounds. That was six. That was five. In case you, you're thinking of getting them, I thought I'd try them on. We could at least have a laugh together, can't we? So here we go. Let's try them on. Okay, I thought I'd start with the animal print shorts. <laughs> I'm not going to get excited about any of this stuff because when I see it on camera, I quite often change my mind. And I did with the navy ones. I got really excited. Then saw it on film and was like, oh, and sent it back. I am not sure about these ladies. I didn't realise that they're a paper bag. Can you see? Paper bag design around waist, which I think adds poundage. If you're, if you're a little skinny mini, you can do it. But I don't think someone of my physique should do it. It also brings it up, which sort of shortens this bit of me and i kind of knew to be elongated as much as possible they're lovely quality i mean they are a nice linen i'll give you a view from the back they cover everything they're completely modest which is what i do like i love a short where i feel casual and you know and yes i've got my legs out it's the summertime it's shorts but i don't feel like i'm underdressed you know so i really like them but i have a that this paper bagness design <laughs> is probably absolutely not right for me. Again, as I say, I tend to think of paper bags as really working on slim ladies um, and ladies who are sort of tall and elegant. When you're very plumptious as I am and not particularly tall, I'm five foot six. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm five foot five. I always used to say five foot six. It was really important to me to not be short five foot five <laughs> is the truth um yeah when you're five foot five and very very curvy you need all of that gap you know i would need them to be more like that than like that so probably not right but they are nice shorts oh, if only i had a different body although i do love this body <laughs> okay these ones fit a lot better they nicely sitting on my waist i like the flat front i quite like the elastication in the back it gives you a bit of room i don't feel like they're huge these actually come with a jacket that matches so that you can have it as a suit i mean i i, I wouldn't get the wear out of a suit of this but ooh, looking at my bra strap my grandma always used to say that's really common um but i think they're a bit long I think they're just a bit too long. I mean, I like a short where there's plenty of fabric, but I feel a bit like I'm standing in a trench. I think it shortens my legs. My back to shortening me, but I just think they would look so much better if they were more that length than the length they come in. So, again, I just don't quite think they're right. I may watch it back on the footage and go, what am I talking about? They're great. And I mean, by golly, they're comfy. Have to say, ladies, really, really comfy. 16 pounds. They feel quality. Got a little bit of pleating here, which I'd prefer that they didn't have because I'm fat. But, you know, it does hide a multitude of sins. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite right. I think the search for shorts continues. I'm thrilled with this one. Thrilled with it. My only concern is, is it too pale for me? You'll have to let me know, ladies. By the way, I bought everything in an 18. I'm being honest about where I am at the moment. Um, I really like it. I like this little split that comes to just above the knee. So you've got a little bit of something when you're walking. It's nice and loose and flow. It doesn't have pockets. It's not meant to. Um, obviously, I would need a different bra because the lace of this particular bra is showing. I'll do a turn for you. It's so cool and comfortable. And this is the sort of thing that I would wear with a 
loose shirt over the top if I was going out. In fact, I'll go and grab a shirt. So I slipped on my denim shirts, my Amazon den denim shirt that I bought ages ago, um, because it's a much lighter option to a denim jacket, because obviously we know a jacket would work, but this is the sort of thing that I would, you know, I'd wear this dress around the house, in the garden, doing those sorts of things. But then if I wanted to go shopping or somewhere in public, and I, you know, I do, I get self-conscious about how broad I am in the beam and my big arms, I would slip this on, and I think it's a great outfit. I also have sort of some white cotton shirts, which would probably work, but this is my fave, so I grabbed this one. Because this one poppers. And you can even sort of, this one won't do it, but I have another shirt where you could just knot it, and it would look... Well, this one will do it, but not as well as I'd like it to. Let's just do it a bit. Do you see what I mean? I have bigger shirts that I sometimes just not. And it just gives me that little bit of coverage that I want while I'm still wearing something that's so easy breezy. So, so long as the colour doesn't wash me out too much, and hopefully it doesn't, I think this dress may be a winner and added to my summer wardrobe. Doesn't it go to show you how when you look at something on the hanger and then you put it on, it can be so different. I really don't like this dress on me. Um, it's a gorgeous dress. It's cotton and it feels really, really nice. But I feel silly in it. I feel like it is too young for me. And people are going to be out there saying, you're only 50. There's no such thing as too young. But there is too young. For me, there's too young. And I feel that this is too little girlish. I could see my three-year-old granddaughter in this. <laughs> so I feel a bit of a fool. But it just goes to show you. I'll show you the back view, which is not that edifying. Because of the uh, ruching, it's sort of clinging to my bra. It's, you know... Um, the colours are so pretty, but I don't think they're right for me. And you notice that's two dresses that I bought that were really pastel coloured. Um, it poofs out from here, which to me reminds me of maternity wear. I'm used to things being there, really high, where you've got an empire waist, or on your waist. This sort of sits somewhere between the two, and I don't think it's great on my shape. Um... The pattern, though, guys, is adorable. And I mean, I literally feel like I'm not wearing anything. It feels like I've got a nightie on or, or you know, something like that. Feels great. It's not too tight in the sleeves. But again, you know me. I don't mind a bit of ruche on the sleeves. But if there's not ruche, puff. A bit of puff in the sleeves. But if there's too much, I start feeling a bit kind of rah. And this one does that for me. So it's a fabulous dress but not for me. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. It's brilliant down here. I like it from sort of there down. <laughs> it's all ah, summertime, but the rest of it, no. And at 25, it's the most expensive. It's a bit of a shock when that happens. <laughs> okay, now for the first place suit. <laughs> I love it. Five pounds, guys, from Poundland. It's light. I don't think it's cotton. It's a cotton-esque. It's one of these mock cottons, I think. It's got this fake, can you see it? Look, there's a fake sort of blouse that comes over the top of it. The shorts, I think, fit nicely. Not huge, but not tiny. This is just me all summer long. I love this kind of thing. And again, I'm using this one. I bought this in a slim fit, that's why I can't knot it, which is fine with this, because this already has a knot. But you see, if I had to go out to the shops or something like that, I would slip this on and feel respectable. You know, I'm not gonna frighten the horses, I don't think. It's not tugging too much. Now I must say, ladies, I believe, and I will check, I think I bought this in a 20, because of the bosoms. I don't care if it's really baggy, so long as I'm, when I'm wearing such a small outfit, let's take this back off. When I'm wearing such a small outfit, I do not want any gaping. I don't want any tugging. I don't, because I'm, I'm only wearing a tiny, itty bitty bit of fabric. So I think, and I have to say, I will check, I might have gone to a 20 for this. Everything else was an 18. Um, I love it. This is staying. This is just, yeah, 
this is me all day long. It might look cute with a belt, but I don't know that it needs it because it's got this. Although I sort of feel on the back it would look cute with a belt. Not sure. Um, five pounds. Oh, okay, this one's a disaster. <laughs> it's completely different to the other one. It's shorter. It's made out of jersey fabric. It has pockets, actually. It's made out of jersey fabric, which is clinging to everything. It has this sort of mock bow at the front, which I don't like. Now I've, now I've got it on, I don't like it. And tie um, straps. I mean, I could make them looser so that this was looser, but then I think I'd be in danger of the boobs falling out. Wait till you see the back view. I feel like a toddler that's filled its nappy. Um, <laughs> This one was six pounds, this one hasn't worked. The other one's amazing. This one, I picked it up because of the color, because I know from doing the channel that reds and oranges and things like that really suit me. And they didn't do the navy one in a bright color. So I picked this one up, but I feel really bananas. I don't know if I could even bring myself to wear this around the house. So this may be going to the charity shop, which is terribly wasteful, but I did buy it a while ago and I have no idea where the receipt is. Yeah. And I mean, another thing I don't like is it's doing this. Can you see? Hanging down under the arm, the side of the bra. Because when I have to wear a bra, um, there's no way I could not wear a bra. So it's got to be one that allows, but look at that. That's not nice, is it? So this was a disaster. The navy one, a huge success. So that was my latest little Sainsbury's jaunt. I'm gonna try and pull back on Sainsbury's a bit now. Although, you know, the thing is, the trouble is they're bringing out the summer things. I know I buy a lot of stuff, girls, but my weight is fluctuating like mad. So some things I bought last year don't fit at the moment. I'm at a point in my life when I can buy things and I'm kind of having fun. Um, I'm married at 18 and my daughter's first birthday uh, was the year that I was 20. So uh, I missed out on all that sort of silliness. I don't regret it, not for a minute, but I'm kind of doing it now. And I do do it on a budget. So <laughs> please forgive me if I seem to be spending too much or too often. I'm having fun and I hope you're having fun with me too. And finding some nice things. I mean, look at that, that Sainsbury's haul, I'm keeping one dress. So you see, even though I'm doing it a lot, I'm not actually keeping that much for genuine reasons, not just to judge the channel or something silly. Um, it just is the way it works out with shopping. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're surviving the snowstorms that we're getting here at the minute. The sun is shining out there now. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. And I know any minute it'll start snowing again. <laughs> anyway, take care. Um, I hope you're all really, really well and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.